Hey everybody. So we got a chance to try out this brand new Philix. Phila X. I don't really know how to pronounce it. You can read it. There's the specs and stuff on it. This is PETG CF. So it's carbon fiber filled PETG. Um, it's a cardboard spool, although it it's printed kind of nice on both sides. I like the graphics and stuff on it. They did a good job with that. Um, it's got all their info and stuff right here if you need to contact them. So uh, we wanted to test this out. And we figured the best way to test it out, test the strength versus PLA, is I printed a 10 millimeter in PLA and I printed a 10 millimeter in this PETG CF. And we are going to tighten down one of these nuts until this thing breaks. See what happens. Uh, let me get the camera moved over and we'll check it out. All right, now that we're here, let's get the nut screwed on there. Start with the PLA. And it's already turned. As you can see, it's not turned, it's just splitting it. Let's see what the box end does. Oh, that seems to be tightening. And that's pretty much when it failed. Yeah, you can see where it broke. I got a decent amount of weight on that though. Want to undo it? Nah, it's it's toast now. All right, let's. Can I do it with my hand? No, it tightened enough to where I couldn't untighten it with my hand. Let's untighten it with that, and then let's try what the carbon fiber will do. Well, that, uh, that end works just about as well as the PLA does. That really didn't do much more than the other one did. But let's see what the box end will do. Ooh. So that let me put a lot more pressure on it and it literally just turned on the inside. It didn't actually break. I can't undo that with my hand. Let's see if I can undo it with this. Nope. It's pretty much toast. Well, I mean, it didn't break. It held up. Not that it's useful at all because it... I mean, as you can see, it just, it doesn't work. But it didn't break like this one did. This one actually, you can actually see where this one split. This one did not do that at all. Didn't elongate, didn't nothing. It just kind of turned on the inside. These were both printed at 15% infill. I'm sure that's a possibility of the problem too. So... I mean, is this stronger than this? Probably. That one did pretty good. Um, this one took a lot more strength to bend and break than this one did. Definitely took a lot more force to bend and break than this one did. I think this one bent farther before it snapped, this one snapped a lot earlier. I think that's just the stiffness of the material. But uh, now that I already broke it, but you can see it printed really, really nicely. You can still see the edges. Like this stuff prints very, very smooth. The top layer finish looks really good. The bottom layer, I mean, most of that's due to the print plate, but it looks really good. You can see, uh, you can see the infill and stuff after it's broke. It wasn't that thick of infill. I'm sure if I put better, more infill, it would have, it might have done better. The PLA, see the infill on it, it's all the same. This is just Elegoo, simple PLA, uh, their basic stuff. I really like this stuff, it's great. Um, but yeah, as for this stuff, this, 
it printed really smooth. It's pretty stiff. I like the way it comes out. I'm sure I could have done a much better test on it. Um, but there's hundreds and hundreds of videos of people testing PETGCF. I really just wanted to do something quick and easy for myself. And uh, just to get an overview of what I'm kind of looking at. This would probably work great if you were going to print like a hook or something to hang something on the wall. This would probably be much better than PLA to do so with. Because it is it is pretty sturdy. I just, I just really like how smooth this stuff comes out. I've printed some other... Um, carbon fiber stuff that I got from, I believe, Bamboo, like the little uh, sample stuff that came with it when you buy the carbon, uh, the X1 carbon printer. Um, it printed pretty good, but I actually think this actually prints a lot smoother and a lot nicer than the, the Bamboo stuff did. I haven't played with it in a long time, um, but the Bamboo was actually uh, PACF. It wasn't PETG, so I guess you can't really compare the two different because they are technically different materials. But uh, all in all, I think I'm really going to like this, and I look forward to looking, finding uh, projects and stuff to actually use it for. Should be pretty good. All right, guys. Until next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. And remember to like and subscribe so you can catch up on all our future videos. And if you're looking for an all-natural, really good pick-me-up, Dubby Energy. It's an excellent energy drink. Link's down at the bottom. Use our promo code at checkout to save 10%. Thanks.